everyone. I think that was probably the quickest I've ever got onto a live. Wow, it's up. I'll just turn that one down. There we go. Cool, and there's people joining already, so I'll just give it a minute, let everybody get on. Let me just, there we go. I can see everything. Hey Lynn, hello. So yeah, same same kind of, what time do I usually do? Oh no, it's mornings now, isn't it? On a Friday when I usually do mine, so. Hey Jenny. Hey Jane. Lots of regulars there already, I can see. I'm so excited today. Oh, thank you, Avril. I've actually not got the pink in it that I usually have, so I need to put some more on. Um, hi, Linda from Dublin. Lynette, hello. Hey, Nikki. Yours has just arrived. Oh, good. I've seen some people sharing some photos that they've received the product, so hopefully you can have some time this weekend to use it. Finally made it to a live. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hey, Carmen. So yeah, we've got lots of exciting stuff to share today. I've got lots to talk about and four demos, fingers crossed. So um, just give it a few more seconds just to get some more people in. Hey Lynn, um, your bundle's just arrived. Oh great, it sounds like a lot of these were orders then maybe from Monday and Tuesday if you're getting them now, which is good. Hey Rachel, Tracy, hey, you're so excited. Oh, I love it when I read the chat and everyone's really happy and positive, it's great. Um, hello Sue. So yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy today. I've got a mix. We've got some Daisy May, Creative Craft Products, and then of course, later Surprise. So we're going to kickstart with that first. And then I've got a couple of fun things to show you towards the end, along with um, competitions as well. So make sure you get uh, commenting because two people will have a chance to win some lovely product today, which I'll explain in a moment. Hey, Trisha. What's the weather like where everybody is? We always talk about the weather. What's the weather like? It's gorgeous here. I've had to pull my blinds a bit because it's just too much sun comes in otherwise, but it's lovely. Um, Gillian, you're waiting for your stash to come today. It's like watching the postman. Hey Gemma, Gemma's in the house. Gemma's my design team. I'm gonna be showing some of her lovely cards that she's made as well later on. Uh, hey Stephanie, snowy day for you. You're waiting for your delivery. <laughs> I can just picture all these people waiting at the door to bite the postman's hand off to get their parcels. <laughs> Hey Sharon. Hello Lynn. Okay, so we've got a nice number of people in, so we'll start today. So of course I'm on the Craft Stash uh, Facebook page today. Lou is actually moving house, which I know that she's uh, told you. So if you are listening, Lou, good luck with today, because I know how stressful house moves can be. So I'm holding the fort today, but I also get to, you know, share my wonderful product with you all, which I'm really excited about. So it's the Simple Pop-Ups, which was, official launch was Monday. Um, so you've all had a chance to kind of grab it. And then there's still a few units left. And today I'm going to be talking about it in more detail. I've got tutorials, re tutorials? tutorials ready to go out next week. So it'll be showing what I'm going to kind of show you today. But you'll have your, you know, the tutorials there to go for reference and stuff. So that is coming because a few people have asked. So a couple of things to go through today. So we've got a giveaway. So it's a prize value of £160 for three people to win. So there'll be two winners called today. So make sure you comment. Hillary's on in the background. So she's going to choose the winners later on. And then you'll have a, sec a third chance, sorry, to win. And that's going to be going on to YouTube. So this will be going over onto YouTube, but we're only live here because I'm doing it from my craft room. As a lot of you know, I'm not very tech savvy and getting into this multi streaming, which I am going to be doing. So this is probably the last live I will be doing for Craft Stash with just um, me here face to face um, without going onto YouTube as well. So that's all going to be happening. Um, so, yeah, so you can win the bundle, which is the mechanism, paper pad, the alphabet stamp set and the sentiment stamp set. So that's a total of about 53, um, 53, 54 pound. Um, three people win that. So that's good. So like I said, comment. Um, then we've got, which you're going to love later on. Um, I've made them into little gift boxes. And I think they're very cute. But if you've seen the deal with the Creative Craft products, so it's the little chick, you've got the lamb, you've got the bunny, and there's the Easter egg. If you still like to make some little Easter crafts, then I think you're going to love it and you get 40% off. So we're going to flip the camera in a bit and I'll show you that. But 40% off and there's a code to use, which I'll explain again later, but it's EST40. Um, so I'm sure some of you have already taken advantage of it because it's 40% off, which is really good. 
um bargain of the week if you've seen it all the things that i mentioned today are always along they call it a carousel so it's the moving bar at the top of the craft stash uh, website it will move like every three or five seconds so there's another really good one which is the deal of the week which is the lawn fawn and it's there i've got all my signs up everywhere so you'll see my eyes moving around it's the giant easter message bundle and it was 31.99 it's now 21.99 so you can save 10 pound and then a lot of you may have also seen that we have a fantastic craft-a-thon which is going to be happening on Wednesday. So next week, 12 hours of non-stop crafting. You're going to see lots of your famous crafters, all those names that you know. I'm not going to give away too much at the moment, <clears throat> but it's going. all of the money that we raise is going to be going to the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. So it's a fantastic course. I know lots of people have been asking about this. So if you want to donate, there's going to be lots of time to do. And you're also going to have heaps of inspiration. It's all just going to be about crafting from all different, um, different things. So you're going to have your, I think we've got some knitting or crochet. Then we've got um, different paper crafts. It's just going to be a really, really fun day. So yeah, if you want some uh, something to watch for 12 hours, then do join that. But we're going to be sharing a lot more of that. So I just wanted to mention it. And I'll mention it again later on for anybody that joins. Um, so I think that's it. So I just thought it'd be nice to just do all that with my face rather than just looking at my hands. I'm now going to be very professional. I'm going to put my finger over the camera. In fact, I'm going to flip... Let's just flip this bit around. This is when everyone cringes now in head office, like what's she doing? So I'm just gonna flip the camera and then I can turn it where I need it. And it just means you don't see all the rubbish. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully anybody with headphones on um, <laughs> didn't find that too uncomfortable. Um, looking forward to the craft i can see the chat now as well so i'll be able to um if you've got any questions put them in capitals craft stash will help as much as possible but if there is anything specific i'll be able to if i can see it then i will answer as well looking forward to the craft-a-thon yeah i think it's going to be fantastic 12 hours i know can you believe it <laughs> what a lovely idea for such a worthy course yeah so we'll be there'll be a lot more about that spoken about um i'll mention it again later on as well but do look out on the craft stash facebook page for all the information on that as well so you can see here, this is the wonderful new Simple Pop-Ups collection, which so many of you have already taken advantage of and purchased. We have sold out of some. And when I looked at the units this morning, there was not much left. So thank you, as always, to those of you that have purchased. I know lots of you are very excited with this one. And as always, I will be sharing continual, you know, inspiration using all of this as well. So what do you get? This is the main, the hero piece. So this is a simple pop-up mechanism set. So the idea with this one was basically it started with this one here, which I know many of you, if you've been following me for some time, I designed this one about four years ago. And it's one of those cards that you can make by hand with your ruler and your scissors, but you have very, very small sections and lots of people just cut through. It was very frustrating. Um, and I must admit, even when I tried to do it a few times, um, I was literally hanging on by a thread. So I've got a die now to do it. And I'm going to show you how these all look because they're nice size pieces. So this is the die set here. So you get all of these, you get 11 dies in total. And this is this one here. And I'm going to be demoing this one today because the way that you fold it, it's hard to write that down in a step-by-step -step instruction. So I'll be able to show you it. And again, these will be going onto YouTube as well. You then also get these kind of sets here. So these three work together. And then these three work together. So these are more of your kind of squares. So they would be good in your six by six. But then you also get these ones, which do the same thing, but they will sit nicer in your five by seven or your more rectangle size cards or shaped cards. And then these are your kind of extender bars, which will help you build. You can build them on top of each other. You can have things popping out further from, you know, whatever it is that you have. So you can use these with this, use them with this. And you can also use them with this here. And this one gives you another style of pop-up. So you have like three main styles, but you can create, I honestly cannot, I can't really number how many different shaped cards you could make with this set. It's literally endless. And it's great for the showstoppers. So those really big cards, if you double up everything, then you know, you can do whatever you want. It's just crazy. So it's a really nice, um, just a staple, I think, to have, because even if you just want a basic pop-up, you could just do that. 
and you've got something different. So we're going to touch on that later on. So that's the main, like I said, the hero piece. And that is your simple pop-ups. And then we've launched it with all of these lovely occasion stamp and die combos. So these will work with the pop-ups, but they will also work with anything you already have in your own stash, any kind of fun folds. Um, they're going to work with my past collection, so double sliders, swing. Um, what else have we got? I always get stuck. To, uh, the tower cards will look great with all of this built up on the front. So you've got your happy days. This one went within about eight hours, I think it was. I think it must be the size of the birthday cake. That's all I can imagine because I, every time we talk about doing another birthday stamp set, I'm like, but everybody's got a birthday stamp set. Well, clearly you wanted this one because this one did go fast. And we always do do a replen, so it will be reordered. It just does take some time for the reorders to come through, but it will come back in again. So unfortunately that one has gone happy days. Then this one went which was your garden and homes. And I'm always a bit unsure how these things are gonna go, but this one's really nice because you can build like a she shed, you can build a man cave, a house, you can do all sorts with it. So I think that was probably what the appeal was with that one, but it's a really fun set and you get all the dies in the bundle on the back there. Then you've got these two here and these are the ones that are down to the last few units. So we don't have too much left, but you've got your hit the road and then you've got your love is in the air now the hit the road is great it's one of those stamp sets that i think we don't need but there'll be a time when we want when someone says oh my son my daughter or son whatever's just passed their test can you make me a card and you think oh do you know what i haven't got anything like that so we've done this stamp set however you can use it for birthday cards as well so the sentiment set here you've got the happy birthday in the number plates uh, form and you've got have a really awesome day. So those two sentiments can change this up into more of a birthday card. Take away the owl plate. You've just got all your kind of, you know, road icons and the cars and everything there. So it's just it's not just about passing your test. I'll talk a bit more about that one in a moment. And then you've got the lovers in the air, which is really, really nice. Again, great for engagements, Valentine's, but obviously for weddings. And you've got the silhouette there. So these, I just wanted something easy. I mean, I love to colour, but originally when we'd done these, I think we'd done a like a more of a detail and I said, just do it as a silhouette because <laughs> it's just quick and easy. And I most wedding cards that I see, you have that kind of silhouette. So I just thought it would work quite well. Going to have to put the garden set on my wish list. Love the nails. I thought I was going for a different colours. Yeah, so did I. I changed my mind, Linda. <laughs> and I've changed the shape, but they had to go short. So they're going to grow. I've got to grow them now because they're a bit too short for me. But anyway, enough about the nails. Um, lovely sets. I want to hit the road because I don't have anything. Like that. And that's the thing, Benita. I didn't have anything like this at all. So it's, it's just going to be, I think, a, a good old faithful, something that you'll pull out <clears throat> whenever you need it. Excuse me. My voice is going there. So those are the four theme stamp sets. I'm going to be using these two today because we've still got those available. Um, what was that, Lynn, you said there about owl plates for hen party invitations? Ah, that's a good one, the owl plate for a hen party. Do you know what? I didn't even think about that. That is brilliant. Yeah, you could do that like pink heat embossing. <gasps> Love that idea. Thank you so much, Lynn. I may forget that you gave me that idea, but just always know if I ever do it that it was you, Lynn, that, that gave it to me. <laughs> Love it. There we go. Got another idea with it already. And then we've got these two stamp sets. So the modern sentiments. So these sentiments will work with all of those themes, but it's just another nice sentiment set to have, you know, if you're someone like me that does love a good sentiment. So you've got garden party, my happy place, you pass with flying colours. These kind of smaller ones can fit into this one here. Love the have a wheelie awesome day. My happy place is my home and garden. Love is in the air. Hooray for today. You said yes. I think that's a good one as well. Um, happily ever after to the happy couple. May your birthday be fueled with laughter. This is my favourite. Quick get off the road. They've passed. <laughs> I just thought that was really cool. Um, today's all about you. It's party time. Teen bride. There's all sorts on there. So nice one to complement all of those sets and then we've got the modern alphabet so this is just a nice one even if you're someone that's not into the fun folds or any of that and you just like to make you know different kind of style cards this modern font's going to work really well with floral designs and christmas all kinds of things it's just a nice alphabet stamp set and again i'll show you that on the samples which you'll see i want them all put them in my basket but it was too slow <laughs> 
or a newly married couple. <laughs> now, 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 Elaine. Um, hello, busy making selection boxes for niece's 40th birthday, watching on my phone. Hey, Sally, thank you for joining. Hello to everybody as well, because I know lots of people are chatting, but I can't see everything and I've got a lot to cover today. So that's that. And then lastly, we've got the paper pad, which is really cute. And I've gone for a six by six size. A lot of people say that they prefer the six by six. So we've got another six by six, which is going to work well for like the swing card and just those other collections that we brought out with just that six by six size. So the puppets, um, like I said, the swing. What else is there? I know there's another one. So these are kind of your backgrounds, your scenes. They're good to put on the fronts of the pop ups. OK, so you've got your six designs there. So you've got two kind of garden theme. Then you've got two kind of celebratory love kind of ones. Or you could have two birthday celebratory. And then you've got your L plates and stop signs and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really nice one. We'll work across the board. I have been using this set, but I'll just show you them there. So you've got your hearts. Like I said, great for Valentine's. Or if you just like sending cards just because. I think that's a nice one this one here really nice you can fussy cut these nice big images as well and then you've got your hands toasting this one is all the same icons that are in the set they've just been shrunk down so you've got the dice the roundabout the cone traffic lights owl plates etc and then you've got your scenes here so you can again you can imagine these in the swing card in the background and then the other one is with the fence you've got the little picket fence in that one which is this one here so those are the six designs and then lastly some of you would have seen that my tool wallet has gone on and that's this here this is another edition this was something that would have been out with all the rest of the things but like with a lot of things things get delayed so this was one of the ones that was held back but it's here now and it's really nice it's just nice it's kind of two things on its own because I think a lot of people are going to if you but if you buy this you're going to take all these out and put them you know with your other tools so they're at hand but the wallet then is a nice little travel size so you can you know if you just nip into a friend's you want to do some crafting you can put you know bits and pieces in here you can put some die cuts things that you may be working on it's just a nice little size it's not going to take up too much space and inside it has the things that I like to use so you've got a very sharp pokey tool you've got your double-ended pickup tool which has some pretty little gems in it I have already shared this on my um, launch with all of this collection so you can see it in more detail on there but on the each end if I take that on off there you go you've got these wax pieces um, if you put a little bit of warmth from your fingertips on them it's going to soften them it makes it very sticky and then you'll be able to pick up all of your little sequins and bits and pieces like that small die cuts as well so you've got that one there, you've got a metal ruler because I find them to be very handy and that's a nice um, small size just for measuring like your mats and layers and stuff. And then you've got two very small, um, very small, very sharp tweezers. So they've got the protectors on them because they are, like I said, you don't want to get these in the wrong hands because they are sharp, but they're going to pick up small little gems and things like that as well. So they've all got their own little home, but of course you can change things up in here, you could put um, you know different pencils pens in there as well maybe a set of coloring pencils or colors that you're using on a project and then you've got a bone folder and this is a thin one so it's a really nice easy one to use nice and long as well so that is the craft wallet or the little tool wallet so it's really sweet like I said it's got my branding on the front the polka dots the lovely um, piping around the side and then the logo at the bottom yeah, the pickup tool is really cool, Cheryl. So that's everything to show you regarding my new collection. So let's get straight into some demos because I do, you know, I'm conscious I haven't got kind of as much time as I would do on my lives, but um, we will run over a little bit, no doubt, today. So first of all, we're going to start with this really cool die. Now, I have die cut most things because I don't want to keep lifting up the die machine onto my desk. So, but again, I'll be doing all this in my tutorials and, and my lives, you know, in the weeks to come. So we're going to use the wedding stamps and dies here. So I've already gone ahead and I've cut and coloured all of these pieces. 
And let me show you some samples actually as well before we do that, just so you can see, because there'll be some people that are joining who have never seen any of this before. So let me show you a lovely version. This is one that Gemma's done. So to the happy couple, and she's popped this into a five by seven size. So now if I do it, because I don't want to cut, I've got my lead running here, hopefully here. So when this opens, how cool is that? I love that you've done this, Gemma, in the five by seven um, size. Newlyweds. So that's using the alphabet, which is why it's so nice, the stamp set, because you can just create your own, you know, titles. And I just love how big you've done the arch there. And then she's done the silhouettes in the pink. You've got the car. And these are all the different pop-up pieces. These are the ones that are the, the flat bars. And then you can add these extenders. And you can add as much as you want. As long as it all folds down within your card size, there is no rule. And once you get used to using them and how they work, I think you'll be really surprised at how many different cards you can create. But I just love that. I thought that was brilliant. So that's a five by seven version. They do fold flat. You kind of have to just manipulate them a bit, but they do, um, sorry, stand up nicely. Um, let me show you another. We do them as I'm going through them. So we do the wedding ones at the moment and then that'll just make a bit more. So I've done a simple one here. You said yes. And that's using just a simple pop-up inside and then there's a little extender on each of the bride and, and groom there. So just, you know, two very different looking cards, one in a six by six, one in a five by seven. And then I've done a bigger, where is it? <clears throat> Got quite a few here and it's nice to, here we go, nice to be able to show them all off. That one over there. So then there's this one and I've done it in the purple and I've done a smaller arch so you can see how it looks that way. To so the happy couple, and then I've just stuck different icons. You've got the ring, and then you can see here, I've stuck one on top of the other. So this is where I was saying about you can build them on top and you get that effect. And I've got two cars, the wedding cake, bouquet, really fun. And obviously you can personalize it to the colors of their wedding and, and things like that. So that's just a few samples there of the wedding one. So I'll pop those to one side so I know that I've shared them. That way I won't get confused. So this one here, this is how it will cut. So this is this die. That's so strong on the plate. There we go. <laughs> and get it off. So you just sit it down and run it through. So what you have to do with this one is you have to prepare the size of your card stock first. So I want this to go into a six by six card blank. So I've cut this piece a quarter of an inch smaller on both sides to go inside there. You can see you get that nice border. So this, when it's folded down, so if you fold it in half, it's a piece of five and three quartered square, okay? So once it's die cut, you've just got this flat piece with all these bits cut out and then these score lines. So what you wanna do is take a ruler and you're gonna pop it. You've got kind of one, two, three kind of sections here. Pop the ruler under and just fold it over the score line okay and then where you've got that score line there but you want to create a mountain fold in the middle of these three pieces like i said don't worry about all this now this is going to be on my youtube video so you'll be able to pause and stop and start and know exactly what i'm doing and then again under this one here the first few times doing this you know i try, like i always say test it on some just rough paper, copy paper first, just to, so you get an understanding of the folds. Once you've done them a few times, it's like the towers. I know some of you now whip out your tower dies and you're making them within minutes, so you won't have any problems with this one. So once those three start coming up, all the rest, if I just pop my fingers in there, all the rest of them start to go where they need to go. So I'm just gonna push those down like so. And this is where, when I made this one, can you see you just got a small amount just holding it together? Uh, what GSM? This is a 220. This is the Craft Perfect that I'm using. Sam, what's that die called? Well, it's part of the main die set. So it's the, it's the hero piece that I'm calling. It's the simple pop-up. So you get lots in this one. It's just this one here that I'm showing for the demo. Because I thought it was the one that's going to have people asking more about. So... Make sure I get all of these the right way up. So that's a valley. So then these either side are gonna become mountains. So I'm just gonna push that one, that one, and then that one, and then again. You just need to just put a little fold in them because then 
the rest will all do its thing. So already now, if I just bring that to the side, can you see we're starting to get this shape? So I'm just putting my fingers underneath and I'm focusing on these three here. One, two, three. Get them as a mountain, all three of them, and everything else just straight away will come up into the shape that you need it. And then just fold that in half and you see we've got that shape to go inside our card. So I'm just going to fold that down, give it a good burnish. And now when we open that, you've got your pop up. This one, Deb, definitely Debbie. This one takes a lot of time to, to do it by hand. Like I said, can be done, but lots of people get tearing here. So it took a while, We, me and my designer, we probably worked, we were two and throw, maybe five or six times with this one. I was like, no, another millimetre. Okay, just a smidge, no, a little bit more, no too much. <laughs> and then we've got it just how we wanted it. So you can see that's now all working. So now that can be stuck into your card. Now I'm gonna use this to build up a scene on the front, but you can have it this way. And then what I would do, if you wanted to do matte layers for this, is with the die, if you get your pattern paper, um, so say I was to use, I don't know, say it was a birthday card, this one, the purples would go well, then you could pop the die down. So you'd have to measure kind of the distance here, but then lay the die and just draw around it. So just draw around there, and then that will give you, once you've cut it out, your perfect matte layer for here and here. Okay. Um, it's not fair, I've got to go. We'll watch later. Take care, Sue. Okay, so let's get this one stuck into the card and then we can start creating that scene. It's perfect. Thanks for taking so much time getting it just right. Well, if it didn't work, it would have been a disaster. Um, because I've spoke about doing this one a few times in a die, um, but just doing it on its own and, you know, trying to get more to go with it, I thought, well, why don't we end up doing what we did? And we just done this ultimate kind of pop-up set. So you've got a bit of everything in there. So hopefully something for everyone. So I'm just going to fold it up to get it into place there first. And then all over this side. And this is the Kalau construction glue, so this is just gonna keep everything nice and strong. Get that all into place. I have so many ideas already. This is so versatile. Good. I'm glad you said that, Lynn. That's what I wanted it to be. I don't want, you know, apart from the puppets, but I think some of you will agree now we're starting to find some really funny things to do with the puppets. Apart from the puppets, I would say everything I've brought out, you can use with lots of other things. It's not just a one hit <clears throat> wonder kind of thing. Um, and hopefully, you know, we might add different puppets over the time, but I'm having fun creating different characters with what we've got at the moment so <laughs> there we go okay so it folds up and once it's open you've got everything on there you can display that really nicely as well so i've got all of this here i'm not going to be using all of this but i haven't done a wedding card with this die yet so i thought i would use this for the demo so i've stamped a sentiment there which i'm just i'm going to stick in this it kind of um just cut the rest away so it's hard to kind of see. Let me use some props. There we go. Then you can see what I'm doing. So whatever you stick down, you just want to make sure that when you close the card, they're not going to pop out the end. So like I said, I've not tried them on this one yet. So I think, yeah, if you just sit them in the section you want. So he's a bit taller. So what I would then do is maybe have them at the very bottom. And then I could have the car behind and then so on. So the arches you can stick actually onto like the back here. So we could do something like that and then maybe have that one joining. That would look quite nice. This could also be like a cake tier. Um, it's just loads. My brain starts to go into override and you guys are brilliant as well because you see things and... 
like the owl plates for the hen party. I hadn't seen that. So now already that's making me think, right, what could we do? You know, and like you said, invites or something I think would be fab. So start sticking this all down. Just try and get everything lined up the same. I might pop a little bit of foam on that one just so it's lifted slightly. Um, what's that pooping puppet? <laughs> that was a funny live. Received the pop up mechanism. Oh, look, I've received the pop up mechanisms today. Oh, good. Hopefully, you'll have fun with that. Um, I'm so sorry. Can I have the link again, pretty please? The link, sorry, um, Wendy, what are you what's that regarding? Link for what? Pop up cards in shops are so expensive, not that they have many anyway. And now you can make your own. So we'll pop that one like so. And then let's have the car. So you just need to see where things are sticking. And a little tip is don't stick it right onto whatever's below. Just lift it up just a couple of mil. That's all, not much. Just so that it can close, it doesn't catch. So the wheel's there, just lift it just a little bit from the bottom, okay? So then let's do the bride and groom. I'm get my words out today. And then, so you could put more flowers down there if you wanted to. And then you've got the rings, so we could do those just on there. Um, we've got the little, what do you call these? They're just like the little tins, aren't they? That you would, you know, it was tradition to have them on the back of the car. You'd have like tin cans and things, so. And then we'll do the dove. So, I mean, this is quick because I've obviously prepared everything, but as I always say, when I receive my stamps and dies, I always have an afternoon where I will just sit down and stamp and colour and then I photocopy the sheet. So I'm not having to colour again and again and again. So, but then you've got them all ready to go. And then I just trim the back of that one. And Okay, so we could do, let's do the bouquet. Don't want it too close to that. Maybe we'll do the bouquet down the bottom so we've just got the same kind of colour flowers. That looks quite sweet. And then we'll do, got the silver heart. This is in the die, <coughs> excuse me, my throat. This is in the die set. Pop that one there. And then maybe the champagne. Yeah, right at the top there in the middle, that will look nice. I mean, that's just a very quick one put together, but I just think it looks wonderful. I think it's just such a nice set. I mean, you could add more as well if you wanted to, but we'll leave that as it is. You've got the, the hat, so you've got the veil and you've got the, so we could put them there as well. Maybe we should, let's pop it all in. That's what it's all about. Again, just make sure you lift it up just ever so slightly so it doesn't. I've got a feeling they're going to pop out the end. I should have checked. I'll do the hat just down there. But if they do, as Simone helped when I done a demo the other day, I was doing a Facebook Live and I'd made this bit, the pop up was too big. I just put it on a bigger card blank. So I think I ended up putting it on a 7x7. Seven seven. So it's not the end of the world, but now just look just pops out so i mean you need to check that so but i could now just cut a seven by seven card and stick it inside and then that's sorted or even a six and a half just just increase my card blank just a little bit but now how pretty is that really really sweet so just be careful like i said um with your measurements there but you could also cut them down a bit and then put them behind the car and have it down the bottom so do snip into them and and things like that but that's just a quick example there using that die set um, but again have it this way just do mats and layers of pattern paper 
and have like your vertical sentiments either side you've got a completely different design quite a masculine style because the, the shape itself is really cool that kind of geometric style so you know change your papers and stuff then um yeah you've got something very different but that's that one okay so hopefully that explains the folding like i said that will go onto my youtube eventually um i say eventually it'll be very soon so you don't have to wait too long yeah make a bigger envelope as well some people don't like things like that though when they put them in but like i said i'm not too worried as you say sam if you do the prep beforehand it comes together very quickly yeah okay so now we're going to do a simple pop-up using the driving all the car related icons so I'm just trying to keep everything tidy so this time we're going to use these here and i'll show you how those little extenders work um, and you've got them here as well so like i said these are more square ones are like for your six by six however they all will go into different you know other that you can mix them across and you can also put that one you know on top of that one and just have some fun with them excuse my stomach then for rumbling if anybody heard that okay so i'm going to show you two ideas so i've got that one which we're actually going to put together but on this one so again you just want to always have your mat layer prepared to go inside your card blank so you can see i've got the teal color which is slightly smaller than my card blank and that's now what we're going to cut into so with this one all of these have a little notch at the ends so if i turn it over here I'll put it against this see there's a little notch just there that those indicate where the score line is here and that's what you want to line up with the score line that you've put into your card and that's kind of your starting block okay so where you lay this one down well then you'll build from that so i'm going to take the ones that are more for the six by six because you'll see these are you've got more room on the side here so i'm just sitting it so those notches are in the same place as the score line so I'm just going to give you one example of how quickly a simple pop-up can come together. So I'm just going to tack this into place. And run this one through. Look how much my plate's curved now <laughs> after saying it's not. Okay. Now take this away carefully. So what you'll see it's done. Oh, I didn't cut that end. Yeah, that's the first time it's done. Do you know what? I think it's that plate. Since it's um gone really crooked, let me just find my um my little map here. Yeah, since it's gone bowed, it's um it's playing up so i think i'm gonna to have to change that so i'm just gonna grab my knife here you won't have to do this i promise you they cut they cut like butter it's just um my machine so i'm just gonna finish that one off there there we go so you'll see this here so i'll pop this one out because i can just flatten it again to put the next one in but again you might find it useful to use a ruler just to lay it against where the folds are but now you've got the most simple pop-up and that can go in the card this way so if I pop it in like so you can see it better so that's just one very quick way of doing it but then if you get well I'm going to take the next size down but you could just jump straight to this size but what you want to do is each time is those little notches sit over a score line but you could have it higher up here if you wanted to and then i could have this one here so we've got a really unusual shaped pop-up i'm going to just do the simple looking one just so that it makes sense what i'm doing so now i'm going to sit this one so it's got equal amounts either side the notches sit right over that score line and now I'm going to run that one through. I'm going to put my plate that way so it cuts better. Okay. 
Hopefully that didn't shift then. Okay. So now you'll see we've got the next pop-up. Okay. So again, just fold where the score lines are. And now you've got, like I said, the start of a cake tier. Like so. But you could have it that way. You can have it this way. Anything you want. Then take the next one. And I'm going to put that in there. But then you could add a bit, extend your score line here. And then, depending on how long the card is or what you're doing, then add that one. And then add this large one. So you get a different look again. There's literally endless ways to do this. I don't think you'll get bored at all with this set. And then... this one in here okay and you're just popping each one out exactly the same way as the first one And now we've got like a cake tier. So in the birthday set, which I know lots of you have. Um, so in this one here, you've got the individual candle. So you could pop the candles and die cut them and have candles all over this and decorate the layers and make it look like a cake. So that's really cool. But then what you can now do is we can come this way, take that medium one again and sit it in the same place. And this is why you won't find any mats or layers the dies in this because everyone's configuration is going to be different. But it's really easy to be able to, you know, cut your sizes. It's just squares that you're cutting and rectangles, so it's really shimps, um, simple shapes. So, okay. So now we can take that one away. And you can see now we're starting to reflect the same design at this end. So I'm just going to pop this one in. So if you just one day just want to make just a load of crazy looking cards, just literally just sit there one day with all your nice coloured papers or even pattern papers and just make different shaped cards. You've then got them ready to go. You can do showstoppers, double them up. Honestly, I'm going to make some really crazy ones. I'm looking forward to sharing this when we do like the mix and match Fridays and stuff. So I'm just going to... Carry on folding. So this is why it's good, I think, to practice on some with some copy paper. And then what I would suggest you do is maybe keep a few of them, keep a folder of like all your different configurations using copy paper, you know. So, but just use a ruler just to get in there and pinch, really burnish all of those. And then make sure your mountain folds are always up towards the end, or the edge, should I say. You'll see that's all gonna fold and fit into your card blank. So now we've got something kind of similar to that other style, but very different. But how easy is that now to just cover, you know, with your pattern papers along these bits? But I like that you can have it this way as well. You could then get a circle die and die cut a circle in the middle here and then have you know something maybe spinning or something inside that there's just loads you can do there really is a lot but now i could stick that in there and that's all ready to go just need to put you know decorate it what make and gsm card are you using it's the craft perfect 216 gsm okay will you be showing the other pop-ups yes it will all be going on to youtube elizabeth it will go on to my mate a surprise um uh, youtube though not my mixed up craft Okay, so that's, I just wanted to quickly go through that. So now what we do is we just take an example of that. So we do just the two smaller ones on this one. Just to then make the car one up. So I want to stick the car on the front. So just always line up your notches with a score line. You can't go wrong. Literally, you do that and you, you might even make up some things. You'll be like, oh, I didn't plan to put it there. And you end up getting something very, very different. So 
<laughs> the only thing spinning now is my head. <laughs> so we quickly get this one together because then I want to show you the two other things which won't take too long because I've prepped a lot of that. So I'm just going to sit this one. I'm just going to do this on one side. Thank you, Carla. Okay. So I've just done this, just a simple, simple pop up with this one. But I think the name works well because even that really detailed one, it's just one pass. It's like the, the tower dies, one pass through and, you know, you've got a really special looking card, which someone's going to think you've spent absolutely hours on. But you'll probably spend hours on the decoration if you're anything like me. <laughs> I spent over an hour the other day on a live just deciding what papers and stuff. The card had been made. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so now just fold that make sure you keep your middle score line because that's always then going to fit into your card blank so the prep is you know getting this piece of cardstock the right size okay but there i've just got a nice little um pop up inside so i've got my card blank and i'm going to sit that one inside there pop that one away okay I can hear everyone's brains turning, thinking of card designs they want to make. And I think, you know, you know, you can make a lot of these ones. Obviously, you can, you can make anything with a, with a cutting knife and a ruler. But obviously, it's the time and the precision that some of them will take. But I also think that sometimes having a die set for something prompts you to make that style i think now if for those of you that have got this and then you're like oh i don't know what to do i don't know what to make and you see your pop-up set and you're like well actually that will do that oh that, yeah okay maybe i'll try that one whereas we all know we can do it but sometimes if we don't have something that reminds us i think then we don't sometimes don't feel inspired i don't know maybe it's just me but or i'm not explaining myself very well Like I've got loads of ideas, I've got Pinterest boards, I've got all sorts of all different cards, but I still, I don't always go to that, you know. But then I'll look at something in my room and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I've got that. Let's use it. Okay, so just fold that all in. Five minutes to make, yep, two hours to choose the papers and embellishments. <laughs> Fold. There's no scrunching. Um, okay, so then I've got all these pieces, which I've already stamped and coloured. So this is all from the the um, the car one. I forgot the name of my own set. What's that one called? Um, hit the road. <laughs> so I've got this one. I've just stamped the sentiment on the corner there, and then it's quite nice if you just use a gel pen, and you can just add a fake road I thought it was a nice little touch and I've done that to make a little like wheel and a road and I'll show you the samples that we have made using these so there's that one just let that dry for a minute that's going to go there then with this one I'm actually going to rip this in half because that's what you do you get your L plates and you tear them in half so there we go I'm going to rip that and maybe do some kind of pop up with it Let's do, keep them together like so. And then the car can maybe be there. I want you to kind of see, maybe like that. I need to lay this out. Then you've got your keys, you've got all these icons here. So some of them I just cut a strip of cardstock. So they look like they were on little poles. But I think these ones I'm just gonna stick onto the back there, so. Whilst that's just drying, so gel pens take a little bit of time to dry. Let me show you. So Gemma's done this one here. Well done, congratulations. So you can see all the different icons there. And she's got the three cars, which I think looks really cool. And there's the front. She's just popped a little cone there. Get off the road, they passed. And then... What else have we got? This is this one. 
that I did. So it's similar. You've got the three there, like the cake tier, I call that one. Whereas, so it's just, I today's that quick demo, I've just done these two. And I've kind of done like a zebra crossing there. That's what that's meant to kind of look like. Um, and then this one, oh, similar to what Gemma done, but I've used the owl plates. And those ones I cut on a zigzag. You can see how that one looks. You've passed and just stamped all the different icons on there as well. And then I think I've got one more, or was that the garden? I will show all these as well in a second. Oh yeah, this was the other one. So that's using that bigger die, that really detailed one. You can see I've done like a wheel tire and then with like the road. So that was just using some circle dies, but I like that number plate. Um, happy birthday there. So, you know, nice little masculine kind of style card there for someone that is learning to drive and it's their birthday. So that's those ones. Okay, so let's get this stuck down and then I'll show the rest of the samples and then we'll whiz through the other two things. Hilary, I reckon I'll probably be on about another half hour because um, I know she'll be doing other bits and bobs as well. So, <laughs> And remember to comment because I'm going to look at the um, my email in a minute because I will have the winners for today's prizes and I'll be able to um, announce those. Right, so let's do, because I want to make sure, yes, I'm going to go down that way because that will definitely fold shut. So let's just use the quick grab. So I'll add a little bit of there. I mean, you don't have to rip them. To be honest, it's the first time I've ripped them, but I think it looks quite good. You know, because it's what you will do. So we do it like that so you can still kind of see. Although once I stick the car down, yeah, you're not really going to notice it. I'd probably spend a bit more time. But I'm just trying to give you all the examples. Can't always do it all, but at least I'm telling you. Um, let's do... That looks quite cool, actually. Have the cone like that. And then we'll have the... Maybe we'll do the P up there. What I'm going to quickly do is just cut... I've got this stronger card here. Let's just cut just a couple of little strips, about a quarter inch wide. And these would just be like your fake little kind of signposts, I guess, because then you can just add a bit of glue to the end and then just stick those on. The roundabout one can just be stuck directly onto the card. And a lot of these are really quick and easy to do because they're kind of block colours. So the key, maybe I have the key down there. Let's do the giveaway sign and the traffic light on these. Giveaway. And now you can just stick these behind you might have to trim some of them so they're a little bit, um, you know, shorter in height. Because again, you don't want it sticking out. Oh, there goes my um, cutting plate. I'll get that one so it just pops through there. And then again, just make sure, yeah, that's closing. So I know that's how high I can go. I might stick that one behind the car. Like so. And then we do that's gonna be a bit too high. Let's just take that one off. Do that one again. Pop that one. Make sure you can see it. Maybe I'll do that one that side. There we go. Just kind of playing around and do the dice at the top because they'd be hanging from the car. Who had dice in their car? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I think it was kind of, you know, any first car, you just had to have some fluffy dice. And then we just pop these two on the bottom. So just a very quick one, but just to give you, you know, an idea. 
on how these pop-ups kind of work. And there's that one there, so that all folds flat. You can probably move that one in a little bit. There we go. So you can't really see the owl plate too much now, but it just gives you a quick idea on what you can do. My Made Surprise Toolkit has arrived and seen the picture of it being left under the front door mat. <laughs> can't wait for the pop-up dies to arrive too. Yay! Okay, so that's another example there. So very quick, like I said these will all, I'll take photos of everything as well. It will all go up onto my Facebook and Craft Stash as well. They'll be on the, um, the listings. So that is everything from me regarding Made to Surprise and the new collection. I'm going to show you the other samples quickly. And then we can go on to some other really lovely product as well, which I think lots of you are going to enjoy. So I'm just going to show you these are other configurations I put together. So we've got a five by seven version there. We've then got this version in a five by seven using the longer ones. But again, there's no reason why you can't have that that way. Have a nice sentiment here or your space to write your message and just have, you know, pattern paper on here. Just a geometric fun shape you sometimes don't have to add stuff onto them it can just be that it's just an unusual shape inside the card and then this one here which you kind of see me do already and then this one which was what I just showed you in the turquoise there they did this in the purple and then that's the yellow version there of that other one these were what I showed when I done the YouTube launch so so I have explained a lot of that already. I just want to make sure I go through all the samples. And then we've got some other lovely ones here from Gemma. So she's done this one here with the paper pad on the front there. Hooray for today. And then this one is the birthday one. I love the birthday ones. <laughs> They're so cool. There's that one. And then we've got... This one is... In fact, let me just stick with the birthday first so then there's this one here there's the front it's party time and you can see there how that one looks which is really cool and then I've done the blue version here can't wait to have a play with this collection <laughs> yeah the cakes are really cool happy cake day and that's using the alphabet stamps I've just done the balloons there and all the beer. The colouring on that one as well, I just wanted to just demo how you don't have to go over the top with the colouring. So I know sometimes people are a bit put off with colour. But I've just stuck with, what, three? Yellow, green and blue. And, you know, it's really simple colouring. So, And if you're using alcohol markers, then, you know, that can be quite easy. And then these ones left are all the gardening ones. So we've got this one here that Gemma's done. So that's the front she shed and then inside she's used the smaller dies because sometimes they get forgot so she's used the smaller ones my happy place is my home and garden so i think that's really cool and then i did this one here it's a new hold new hold it's because i was about to read sold at the same time new home you got the sold sign there you can see i've made the house you got the keys and then that's the different pop-ups there. But again, just fold them back and then they do stand open. And then we've got this one that I did. Enjoy your new home and creating happy memories. Garden party. You've got the she shed, the sold sign. That's really cute. And then this one here. My happy place is my home and garden. So it's a different version with the she shed. And you can see just the simple pop-ups in the back there. So we have hidden everything and I've turned the tree into a bush as well. Just cut off the, the trunk, you know, so don't be afraid to slip into them. But I love all the detail in the windows. You can build all this up and you've got the stamps to create the brickwork on the, the house and everything. And then this one Gemma's done as well. Enjoy your new home and creating happy memories. You can see there she's got the new home at the bottom with the keys and the trees and the sold sign. There's just so much you can do with this. So that is all of the samples. A huge thank you to Gemma for working on this one with me. Right, so now who wants to see some cute Easter stuff? So I've got a bit, bit of Daisy May and I've got um, these here. <laughs> so I think these were, oh, I've got that one as well. Sorry, I forgot. There's one more. 
<laughs> another really nice one so that's just using the two smaller there of the pop-ups to build up behind the cake and then I've taken the fueled one from the car may your birthday be fueled with cake rather than laughter which was the uh, the stamp so again sometimes block off certain words from different stamp sets and you can create your own you know new sentences right so on offer today and I think it's a really good deal um, and that's the creative craft products I've got 40% off this product here so you can get a bundle which is one of the sets with the honeycomb and the sentiment so this bundle or you could have it with that you could have it with the bunny, you could have it with the chick. $22.99, but now $16.78 because there's a 40% off code. So you have to enter code EST40. It is on the banner on the page. But rather than making cards with them, I've made these and I think they're adorable and I'm going to be using them this Easter. So look at this one. <laughs> when I put this together yesterday, I was literally like, oh my God, I just love this. So I've done this one here. So you can have little honeycomb bellies on them. And I'm going to show you that one in a minute. We're going to do the Easter egg. But I've just filled them with eggs, just doubled them up, cut the few layers of card so it's nice and strong. But that one there is using this one. So he's the bunny. So you can see with the honeycomb belly there, it's really sweet. <laughs> and they're nice sizes as well. And then it got me thinking about how these would work for other occasions, because obviously the bunny you can use during the summer and stuff but you could do like maybe like a scary bunny for Halloween and die cut it in black with purples and maybe do some like fangs in his mouth like you know think about think outside the box um and I think you could definitely use these for other and you other occasions you could do Christmas bunny you could have a little Christmas bow on him and things like that so I thought that was really cool the stamp set's lovely as well hoppy Easter hello spring some bunny loves you um then I've made the little chick Honestly, I was smiling from ear to ear. So I'm going to show you how to make... Well, I've done a tutorial showing how to do these. So that's going to go up tomorrow. So you'll see that one to make all these. But look at the little honeycomb belly. Oh, I just loved them. So that's the chick. So that is uh, this one here. And you get the basket as well, which I just made up. And you, you can buy them on their own. You don't have to buy them as a bundle. And the code works on the individuals as well. So, but even the paper, that is going to be great die cut with circles for balloons. And that's what I think you're going to see me use them with when I start sharing it a bit more. So that's the chick. And then look, oh, look at the lamb. <laughs> this is pure delight. I just thought these were amazing. So they're going to be, I'm going to put these into hampers for Charlie, Ralph. I think my sister's going to really like this as well. But how cute is that? So I made the little sign using the hello spring stamp set there but aren't they just adorable <laughs> so what i'm going to show you today so like i said i've done a tutorial using those three i'm going to just quickly show you how to put together and die cut this one so let me grab i think i'm going to do what color was i going to do so i've cut already so i haven't put this one together i've done all of those but i figured it's going to be the same as them so let's have a little look so we've got and then you just add the box inside so I've cut four of these ones the biggest one stuck them together so they're nice and strong okay one for the front one for the back now in every one of the sets you get a half easter egg shape so this one is the big one for this but you'll see in every single set you get a little half so one there um, this one's there and then that one there and that's what's going to create the um the little honeycomb i'm only an enabler on good stuff wendy i don't just share stuff or whatever for the sake of it so when my boss said oh can you show these ones in your live and when i saw them i was like actually yeah they are quite sweet <laughs> <laughs> and I was a bit obsessed with them so yeah I will use those so let's do it's got to be yellow really I think yeah we'll do yellow so all you want to do is just cut it on your honeycomb so if I remember rightly it didn't matter yeah no it's got to be it does matter that way so you want to do it lengthways so if I just open up the side 
you can see when you pull it. I was amazed at this when I shared this in one of my What Did I Get? So I was like, I'd never seen this before. Like I've seen it in cards, like vintage cards. I got a few that my granddad gave my nan with this kind of effect. How cute's that? Amazing. And you get how many sheets do you get? Five by A4 sheets. Two yellow, two pink, and one blue. So you want to cut this down the honeycomb design okay um i didn't realize the size of the egg i would have ordered it's a lovely size to be honest this is why um you hear lou say it a lot when she does her um lives never go by the front of the packaging I i've done it i've looked at things and thought oh it doesn't look very big these are nice size pieces so that one and then we'll run this through here um i dropped my plate didn't i Right. Cuts really easily because it's just um, tissue paper, layers of tissue paper. Remind you, you remember making the honeycomb paper in school? Oh. They've got Christmas colours because Lynn's just said I brought the Santa. Yeah, so they've got Christmas characters. I did check, they had a few on there and they did have the Christmas colours. I think they've got a pack of red, white and green, I think. But I'm going to do a birthday card with these. I want to do circle honeycomb balloons and do different sizes with like my circle dies. I think it'll look really cute. So now if you just test this when you open it, it will all pull out in a minute. But oh, my gosh, Sam. there we go. Look at it. It's so cool. <laughs> so we're going to stick this one in the middle of here. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue. I think I'm going to make, I think these ones might be table favours. They all have like an Easter egg and then the characters are going to go into hampers. Because I know my mum's going to love these. She'll probably want one to do, give to her friend because they always exchange Easter gifts. So you want to focus on this, getting it through the middle of whatever it is that you're sticking it to. Whether it be the centre of a card, whatever. If you adapted the half egg, it could be a heart if you cut that's a good idea jane yeah definitely yeah the pink one would look good doing that so you've got a pink heart and then add your glue to the other side and then just open that up and bring it right over it does go i probably should have pulled it all open to start with because i did do that with the other ones And then get like a pokey tool or something. You need to be able to get into like the bottom kind of pieces. There may be an easier way to do this. I could be doing this wrong, to be honest. Maybe I should have done this one beforehand, but you just got to get that side stuck down. Once it's in place, then you're okay. Just get in the gaps there until you've got it where you need it. There we go. Now we're getting there. Just takes a little bit of time, don't rush it. I'm just going in all the holes there just to make sure that glue's secure, like so. Probably a little bit lopsided, just looking there, but this is like me testing it live, which I maybe shouldn't have done, but you get the idea. And then you get all these little bits here. So I've cut the Happy Easter, but you've also got Happy Hunting. So I thought it'd look good if you are doing an Easter egg hunt, but I was gonna stick those on there i'm just going to pop my hot glue gun on for that and then what i might do because i'm a little bit over to the right is you can stick these bits down here because if i show you on the packaging you can see there they've got like the cluster and then they've popped the the wording on the top there so i think we're just i need to play with this one a bit more it's gorgeous and especially if you like making like retro cards i think this is really cool it's a really fun a fun design and I'd wish I'd looked at the Christmas ones before and used them like last year because I think they would have been you know really well received with like family and stuff so we'll just pop that I'm just trying to give you again just quick highlight ideas I would definitely spend more time on this like so something like that anyway and you've got your other flower there as well you put a little embellishment in the middle of that Brew, brew, brew. Honestly, it is. I like got very excited with this. I think it's fantastic stuff. 
<laughs> I put an embellishment in there. I'm just going to wait for my hot glue to warm up and then we can stick that on. This piece here to turn it into a little gift box. This is just a piece of three by six and a half. Along the three inch side, you want to score it a quarter of an inch and two and three quarters. And then along that six and a half, you're going to score it two and a half and four. Okay, so nice and easy. And then I'm just going to fold and burnish. And I've done this with all those others, but I'll give you different measurements in the video for the other ones. And I'll show you how to put them together. If you've got my puppets, it's very kind of similar to that, like building them. But uh, yeah, I put a movie on yesterday and, uh, and made those up and I was like, oh, they're so cute. So I'm just cutting a little wedge over each of the folds there just to create three tabs on each side. Like so. And then we'll do this one first at the back. So add that onto there. So like I said, I think these were made as decorations for cards, but I thought I need to make something 3D with this. So I'm going to bring this down as far as I can get it and then you can have it as wide as you want depending on the gifts so just bring that so it's straight so you can see now you can fit some quite a few eggs in this or any gift really depending on what it is you're going to put in so there's the the middle bit and then add my glue in here and then you kind of want to like line this up. I'll stick that with some hot glue in a minute. It's better. It's hard for me to do because I'm trying to get you guys to see it, but I need to make sure. I think that's better. Just get in there so it's all stuck down. Like so. There we go. Oh, no, it does work. But I can't push down on the honeycomb. So you could add the honeycomb last so you can get your box made. I couldn't watch a movie in craft. Oh, God, I watch so many movies. Always got movies on. Come on, why are you not sticking? Don't let me down at the last hurdle. You get the idea anyway. There we go, I think it's in place. Let's just, that is on. Oh, my glue gun wasn't working then. Let's just pop that one back down. And then just pop a little bit of glue just on the happy there. Just want it to catch just a little bit. And then just a little bit on the Easter there. I mean, you don't have to stick it on the honeycomb, but it just gives you an example, like so. And then you can put some shredded bits in here. Said. I'd spend a lot more time on this. I've just been very quick with that one. Um, and I've got just endless sweets for Easter at the moment. But you could fill that now with chocolate coins, in my case. Make sure they're level. You could pinch them together, put a little handle on it. But isn't it cool? Love, love, love it. I think they are brilliant. So for anyone just joining, these are the other characters. You've got your lamb, your bunny, obviously the eggs, and the chick. I think they're brilliant. <laughs> Delta, you just ordered some. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want something a little bit different, I think they're really, really cute. So look out for tomorrow's uh, tutorial because it's going to be showing you how to build and put these all together. Um, and if you're into like your punch art and things like that, you could do something similar as well. So there's lots of ways, but yeah. So that's those. And then lastly, 
Daisy May. Now I know that the lovely Pauline was on with Lou um, maybe last week. Um, but those of you that know, know how much I love Daisy May. So this is the new Daisy May Spring is in the Air. Loads of lovely stamps here. So you've got the, what's this one here? This is the one I'm using. Spring is in the Air. Oh, it must be called. Oh no, that is called Spring is in the Air. This one's Spring Flowers. This one's got the bunny in the boots, which is adorable. Then you've got the watering can with the flowers. The mole. <laughs> I'm going to be using these into summer as well. So I know this says spring, but, um, I've, you know, they're timeless, aren't they? So we have spring every year. So that one will get used. The mole and stuff. But I think they're going to work great. I could see that as Halloween as well. The moles. I think because they come up at night and stuff. You could have some bats flying around. And you could pop up saying like, is it Halloween or something? I don't know. I see, try and see things being used more than just for what they're, you know, intentionally made for. The egg hunt. That's a really cute one. With the little chicks there in the basket. You've got that pretty wreath. With the eggs. And then you've got the bunny there with the balloon that's in the shape of the carrot. And then the carrot patch as well. And then you've got the paper pad which I did use on a card that I made during a live yesterday. I used the polka dot. Spring is in the air and you've got the plaid polka dot. You've got like a, it's almost like safety glass kind of design. You've got some little ditzy prints. They're like your little dandelions flying. And then you've got the stripe there, which does play with your eyes. So I've put together this one here and I've taken the supersized nester balls. So these are the creative craft products. And again, done a bit of colouring yesterday. So I've coloured this one here and cut it out. And you've got the little Easter eggs there. And then I've got the Welcome Spring little um, sign there. Benita love Daisy May, I know. She's just so good. Just such cute and funny as well. I loved her loose ladies. So what I did is I'm going to make it just a quick easel card using the papers just to give you some inspiration. So I've just taken the... What size did I use? Because I know a few of you have got these ones. So it's the third size down. And this is the 10 set one. And then I took the fourth size down to cut the pattern paper. So I've cut two of the pattern papers there. Uh, okay. And then we're just going to make a quick easel card. So I'm going to take my foam here. So first of all, I'm going to have... The yeah, green's going to go on the back. So this one, what I'll do is I'll stick this one down first on the base and then I'll fold the other one. So stick this one down onto one of them. So this is a quick way, you could do this with any shape dies, quick way to make a shaped easel card. So we're going to stick that one down first. And this one's going to be my easel piece. So I've got my scoreboard. And along the long side, let's make sure it's nice and straight, I'm just going to score it a half an inch. So that's going to be how I attach it. And then I want to score it kind of halfway-ish. So I'm going to score it three and a half. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit off. That won't make any difference. This one's going to be a valley fold. And then this one is going to be a mountain. The valley, I'm going to use that glue actually, is going to be attached to the back of this one so I just want to sit this now back on top so I just follow the pattern she says I've obviously made it it needs to be that way why are you not lining up it's cut from the same dial oh, okay lesson learned no that'd be fine stick that down I don't think that's gonna oh no it's fine me and my eyes so just stick that down when you've lined it all up and then that's going to come up to form our easel shape so then I'm going to add my glue all onto the front of this one and now we can sit this one right over the top so we're just sandwiching everything together right now and now we're going to add this one on top <laughs> You think Daisy May um, stamps have just popped through the letterbox? Oh, nice. Sounds like lots of you have had some deliveries ready for the weekend. So hopefully you're going to have time now to be able to enjoy those. 
and then stick that one down. And now I'm going to build my little scene. I just pop some foam pads all down here. And you can buy all of your foam from Creative Craft Products. They've got so many good adhesives on there. They've really got a big range now of products. So I want to have the sign. Yes, I think we'll go about there. And then pop that one down. Go there. And then pop a bit of foam at that end and then glue on that end. I'll have it overhanging a little bit, will look nice. So make sure that's all secure. And now that will come up and then we just need to add our little stopper. So this is the stamp set, or the sentiment, sorry, that comes in the stamp set, Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes. So I'm gonna pop that up on a bit of foam and grab my foam roll. Again, this is all creative craft. Well, this might be craft stash actually. I know they've got it under, I think it's listed under both. But I think the packaging might say craft stash. I'm just going to double up my foam because I want it to ensure it's going to keep that upright. Okay. And then decide how high you want your easel to be. So I can see roughly. I'll just fold that back. My print's a little bit wonky, but that'll be fine. And now that wedge is open, here you go. I love an easel card. We were talking about easel cards the other day and just for the most, one of, well, the most simplest fun fold, but they're just so nice. They just finish cards off brilliantly, I think. Let me just bring that up. Now in Claire's style, she'd probably had some burlap, some ribbons, some buttons, all that lovely stuff, but you can see there, just a really quick design. Well, the, the I won't lie, that took me about an hour to color, but I was again watching another movie, but just to die cut that, easel cards are very, very quick. Um, and obviously the papers finish it off as well. If I bring it down a bit, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> so lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera. I'm going to check my email. So just let me, and I'll announce the winners face to face. I think it's nicer to see. So let me just get my, my uh, thing up here. Um, so there's my email. And I've got the winners, I can see them already. Right, let me just put my finger back over there. If you've got headphones on, apologies. And then I can just go back through everything. Hey, <laughs> probably done that a bit soon. Let me just, there we go. Oh, apologies, there we go. There I am. <laughs> Okay, so I'll hold everything up as well. She'll be able to see it. Yep, drum roll, says Linda. So first winner who is winning one of the new um, Simple Pop-Ups bundles is Wendy Seward. So congratulations, Wendy. <laughs> and then our second winner is Lynette Susan Coleman. So there are two Facebook winners today that are winning a share of the £160 bundles. And then for a third chance to win, you've got to go over to YouTube and this is all going to be put up on there as well. So congratulations, ladies. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, like I always say, for supporting me, supporting the brand and enjoying it all and sharing. Make sure you tag me on social media, share it in the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group. I love seeing all that. Make sure you join us next Wednesday for the Craft Along. It's for the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. Obviously, a lot of you know that Olga is one of our co-branders from Paper Discovery and she has, thankfully, she is safe. She's now in Denmark, um, but we are raising money. So we've got a 12-hour craft-a-thon with 
loads of famous faces. There's going to be lots of people you recognise. They've got slots, which all being kind of finely tuned in the background, ready to go out on Wednesday. So if you've got 12 hours free, <laughs> only joking, if you've got some hours during the day, please pop in, donate. That's all we're asking. Donate and enjoy watching and hopefully feel inspired with what the different artists will be sharing. So that's next Wednesday. It's already gone up the banner on the Craft Stash page. So have a look at that and um, you'll just, yeah, you'll be able to keep up to date with everything that's happening with that. Um, yeah, take advantage of that 40% off code. I don't know how long that's lasting. I imagine it's until stocks last for those. Look, if I hold it this way, it's just adorable. <laughs> and the lamb, what's your favorite? The lamb, the bunny, the chick. You can probably see them better this way, actually. I stuck the little chick there because you've got the basket as well. I think they're great. And obviously Daisy May and then my collection. So hopefully it's just been a really nice, what, well, hour and a half. I said it'd be about that. Um, just filled with inspiration. Hopefully you leave today feeling inspired. Enjoy your new product that you've arrived, that has arrived. So I know lots of you have had that delivered. And uh, have a nice weekend crafting. I think I've gone through everything, done the winners, spoken about the craft-a-thon, bargain of the week, the lawn thorn as well. Check that out. Just always look at the banners that run along the top. Lamb says Rena. Um, Nikki says the lamb as well. <laughs> the bunny is my favourite. I think it might be the bunny for me as well, actually. So yeah, so that is everything for me. If you've got anything you want to ask, drop me a message, chat on our groups, and obviously Craft Sash will help you out wherever as well. Um, have a lovely weekend, everyone. Um, I will be back next Wednesday, but it will be as part of the Craft-a-thon. So my normal Wednesday lives will be doing that. Um, but I'll be back for the mix and match next Friday. Bunnies sold out, Gemma. Oh, <laughs> well, you nabbed it. There was only a few before I went live, to be honest. Uh, most of the Easter product is selling now because obviously people need it because it's in a couple of weeks' time. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, so much. And um, until next time, see you all again. Take care. Bye.